All right, well, the job for today is to look at making orbital diagrams. Now, you already know what an energy level is and a sublevel in an orbital and the rules as far as how many, how many sublevels will be on an energy level, how many orbitals they have, and have gone through the order of which sublevel has the lowest amount of energy because those are all things we're going to need for today when we're creating our orbital diagram. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to find an element on the periodic table that we're gonna work with. So for today, we're gonna use oxygen. Now from this little block, we can tell the symbol, the atomic number, the mass. We're not gonna need all that information today because basically, we don't know how many electrons this element has. So for oxygen, my atomic number is eight, which means I've got eight protons, and if this is neutral, it's not an ion, that also means that I'm gonna have eight electrons. And that's really important because we need to know our number. To okay, we're gonna start filling our orbitals with our electrons. Now, our orbitals are gonna be shown as boxes and our electrons are gonna be arrows. So we always start at the lowest energy spot available. So we're gonna be on energy level one and our sublevel there is an S. So now I'm gonna put my electrons into one S. So I'm gonna draw an arrow pointing up and an arrow pointing down. We need to have one going up first and the other one going down to indicate the opposite spin of the electrons once they're in that sublevel. Okay, but now I've only drawn two electrons. I need to get to eight, so I'm gonna keep going. After one S, we have two S. So I'm gonna draw two S and now I'm gonna put my electrons in there as well. So just like I did in 1s, one goes up, one goes down. So altogether I've got four electrons, but I still need to keep going. So my next sublevel is 2p. Now p, you know, has three orbitals. So I'm going to draw them hooked together like that to show that they are on the same sublevel. Okay. So now I've already used four of my electrons up. I need to put four more in here. Now this time it's going to be different. We're going to go an arrow up, arrow up, arrow up, because one of the rules is that each electron needs to be in its own orbital first. Then I'm going to go back and start filling them in. Okay, now we're going to talk about those rules in class and what their names are. So one of your jobs is to write down which rule says that one electron goes in each orbital first. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arrows. The last thing I need to do is make sure that my arrows equal my electrons. So if I have eight arrows, that means that I have eight electrons. So I am good to go for this one. All done. So in class, we're going to be doing some examples and working on this. Um, make sure the two things you need to know and before we start these is you need to make sure you're up on the three rules that dictate how electrons fill orbitals. So that'd be the Pauli exclusion principle, the Aufbau principle, and Hund's rule. And then also know the order of those sublevels, 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, and so on. That's what we're going to need. So see you in class.